This is Mohammed Sadiq here. In this session, we'll learn how do we work with the tableau. So before we start into a tableau, we'll try to understand what exactly is the tableau. So when I talk about the tableau, tableau is one of the very powerful business intelligence tool. Okay. Now, what do you mean by business intelligence? Business intelligence is nothing but a process of converting a very large data into a meaningful output. So where when you have some very complex data, it becomes very difficult to get the uh, what is the information from that or to understand the particular data. So with the help of this particular BI tools, we can convert the data into a format where it becomes very easy to understand, very easy to create a report. Okay, it's very easy to predict, do the predictions based on the particular data. So maybe like, you know, I want to create the data in a tableau format or in the, the help of the uh, graph. And the tableau has a built-in data visualization tools with the help of which a chart can be created just on a few clicks. So we'll try to understand this. Now to get in this, so what we will do is we'll see, okay, how we can convert this complex data into a, a simple report with the help of this particular tableau. Now, I will take this particular sample data, uh, data that is your sample superstore. This is a sample database, which uh, data source, which is provided by the Tableau itself. When you download Tableau desktop, by default, you get this particular sample data. So when I say sample data, that means what all the features of Tableau are there. So we can practice it with the help of this particular data. Now, when you just look into this particular data, let me open this. This is a comma separated value file. I'm trying to open this in your Excel. So it becomes at least we can read the data. Otherwise, when it is in a notepad format, it becomes very difficult to even read the data and understand. So when we look into this, we have the row ID, or ID, order date, and we have this various you know uh, sales data. I can say, and uh, we can see it has many columns where it has a category, subcategory, uh, state-wise sales, so segments, and then we also have uh, sales data, profit, uh, discount. If there is a discount given, or what is the quantity on the stock? And when you see the number of rows, we have almost 9,995 rows, almost 10,000 rows are there. Now, in this data, what kind of reports I want? I want to know what is the sales which is done in the region wise. Okay, so we have this particular region here. Okay, we have a south region, west region, uh, central region, but I want to, and we do also, you can see here, we have the sales data. So that means we have this particular regions here and we have the sales over here. Now what I want to do is I want to know region wise what is the sales. That means South region what is the sales. East region what is the sales. West region what is the sales. Central regions what is the sales. Now if I have to do this, so generally when it comes to Excel, we do with the help of something like a keyboard tables and all this thing. Now we'll see how do we do this with the help of the tablet. Okay. Now let me, first we'll try to do one thing is, We'll try to read this particular CSV file into my uh, tablet. So if I have to read this, I'm just trying to open this particular tablet. This is my tablet public. Since my data is in the text file, that is a CSV is a text file, I'll just select the data source. It is a text file. I'll just select this. This is a sample super source we just saw now. I'll just try to open. As soon as I select the data source and say open, you can see this is the page. Uh, where I shows me what are the data source it has read the data. It has read the data from this particular text file that is a sample superstore. And there is one file which is called as sample superstore.csv in that. And since it's a single page, so the page has been imported here. Now, whatever the fields we saw over here, row ID, order ID, and things, we can see the same thing row ID, order ID, order date, ship date, all the data has been retrieved over here. And one the plus thing is here, what happens in the tableau, it automatically senses what type of data and accordingly it has assigned with the appropriate data type. So that is like row ID, it is having the numeric value, so the data type given as numbers. This has the alphanumeric value, it is given as alphabet. This has some data with respect to the dates, so it is given as a date. Okay, so some geographical field, it will give it as a geographical dates. Okay, so we have a lot of data types here, so that means we need you want to know the data types, you just click on this. This is the data types what is supported in tablet. Fine. Now, 
I wanted to see this particular data in the region by sales. So since data source is ready, next is what we do, we get into the sheet. As it's very similar to your Excel. In Excel also what we do, we have the sheets, okay. File is called as a workbook, the same way, uh, the file what you create in the tablet is also a workbook and which contains a collection of sheets. So here, not only sheets, we can have a sheet, apart from the sheet, we can also create a dashboard and a story point. Okay, so today we'll see about the sheets. Let me get into this particular sheet. As soon as I get into this particular sheet, so we get this particular thing, uh, which just shows a very similar to a classic pivot table uh, layout, which has drop fields here, what data you want in rows, what data you want in columns, what data you want for the summarized. And other thing you can see here is on the left hand side, all the fields what we saw, that particular columns are appearing over here. So that means we have a category, city, country, for the respective data types and so on. Now, when you see in this field, there are some fields which is in blue color. Okay, so it is in blue color. And there are also some fields which is in green color, discount, profit, sales, and all these things. Now, this green color fields, they are called as measures. The green color fields, they are nothing but measures. So then even I talk about measures. Measures are the fields which you can measure it, where you can do a calculations. Like we have the sales data, I can find out what is the total sales, average sales, I can do an increment, or I can calculate the percentage of the sales that has happened, we can do a calculations. Now, apart from that, we do also have some fields which are showing in the blue color. These are nothing but called as the dimensions. Now, when you talk about the dimensions, dimensions are the fields which you cannot do a calculations but we mainly use for the grouping. Now I want to know what is the sales which has happened in the region wise. Now I'll select region is a, a dimension which is we are trying to group. All the south will become as one region. All the central will become as one region. Region wise, I want to know what is the total sales that has happened. So sales will be done at measurable. So by default, all the fields like, it might be a region, category, subcategory, state, country, and all. So the data based on which we can do the grouping. So that has been taken as a dimensions. The fields on which you can do a calculations that has been considered as a measures. Now, since I wanted the total sales for the region wise, I will just select the region here. I just selected the region. As soon as I select the region, you can see by default, this region is added to the rows. And you can see all the regions are appearing. Now I want to see region wise, what is the total sales? So I'll just select the sales. As soon as I drag the sales here, so you can see it is showing us sales on the labels, that is thing. And you can see we are able to see from the particular total sales. So central region, what is the sales? East region, what is the sales? South region, what is the sales have happened as well as the west region. So it has divided the data into the region wise. You want to cross check this, let us do this in our Excel. So I can create a pivot table for doing this particular operation. So let me do that. I just select, I go to the insert pivot table. I'll just create a new pivot table. Now I'll just select here is um, I want to go for the region wise. As soon as I select the region, you can see it has taken data into the rows. Since it was a non numeric data, it has become the row heading. When I select the sales, you can see by default it has been added to the values with the sum. And when you see here, the central region, what is the sales here? 5 lakhs, 1,293. Um, so when it comes to the east region, what is the sales here? 6 lakhs, 78,781. So when you see this also, 5 lakhs, 1,214. 6 lakhs, 78,781 east region. South region is 3 lakhs, 91,000. So we can see 3 lakhs, 91,000. Okay, the same data what we saw there, so we are able to. So you want to get the totals, so we have this option like, you know, get into this particular analysis, totals, I just say, show the grand total. So you can see even the total is 22 lakhs, 97,201. So when you see here, 22 lakhs, 97,200, it has been known as that. Okay, so we are able to get this. Now, see, now again, what happens is, the BI, the business intelligence people, when they have to take a decision, 
which particular region has done the highest sales? Where exactly the other regions stand? I want to do a comparison. I always prefer seeing this particular data in the form of a graph, the charts. Now let us try to create a chart for the same data. Let me open a new sheet here. And I'll, at this time, I want to create a chart in order to have the data. So what will I do is, I just select the sales. As soon as I select the sales, since the sales is my measurable field, so it automatically draws a graph. It says total sales is 2,29,000. Okay, now okay, 22 lakhs 97,000. But I want to divide this particular sales based on the region. I just select the region. As soon as I put a region, we can see the data has been divided into the region. So here I can easily come to know that oh, West region has done the highest sale, South region has done the very worst sale. Okay, uh, now what I want to do is I want to show the values, the actual values, how much of sales this each region has been done. So I'll let me what, fill it. So I'll just make this as entire view so where I can. See this particular complete this one. Uh, now what I do is, or I can have a standard and uh, I can expand this. Fine. Now I want to put the uh, values. What are the actual sales? I just select the sales. I add them to the labels. As soon as I add to the labels, you can see it shows me the actual sales that has been done. Okay. So now one thing is here also I took the sales and the region. In the previous sheet also I took the sales and the region but here what i did is first i selected a measure then i selected a dimension when you select a measure first and the dimension so the tab has something called as a built-in data visualization tool it senses as soon as you select a um, measurable field first okay it sends that okay it has to draw a chart so it creates a chart for that but when you select a dimension so dimensions with the dimension you cannot create a graph we need some measurable field some kind of values so based on which we create a chart so there it tries to create a tabular data cross tab data fine now here if you want to okay so i think this is uh, what about your uh, uh, what is it tabular so we can create a lot of interactive charts Okay, we can create a dashboards. Okay, a lot of things can be done with the help of this one. So, which I will come up with the next uh, session, next video session. Thank you. Thank you for watching.